Nine times in history, when people found Noah's Ark. 1876. James Bryce. Bryce was a British academic and historian. He scaled Mount Ararat and discovered a piece of wood. It was about four feet long and five inches thick, evidently cut by some tool. Bryce argued that it was a remnant of Noah's Ark. He did admit that there could be other explanations, but added, No man is bound to discredit his own relic. 1887. John Joseph Nori. Nori was an enigmatic Catholic archdeacon. He styled himself the discoverer of Noah's Ark and the Golden Mountains of the Moon. In 1893, Nori attended a religious conference in Chicago. He was planning to reveal his discovery. Instead, he ended up taken in by an insane asylum. 1948. Aaron J. Smith. Smith was dean of the People's Bible College in North Carolina. He read a report by the Associated Press. It said that villagers had discovered a petrified ship on Ararat. Smith organized his own expedition to confirm it. He failed to locate the villagers or the ship. He still believed that it was Noah's Ark and it would be found soon. 1956. Fernand Navarra. Navarra was a French industrialist. He published a book on his discovery of Noah's Ark. The discovery was actually an old piece of wood. Navarra supposedly had it radiocarbon dated. The analysis showed it was 4,484 years old. However, radiocarbon dating can't provide such a specific date. Also, that's not when the flood happened in the Bible. 1970. Georgi Hagopian. Hagopian was born in Armenia, where Ararat is. In 1970, he reported seeing Noah's Ark many times. Georgi's uncle supposedly took him to look at it. This happened many times when Georgi was a child. The Ark was absolutely petrified. When his uncle tried to cut a piece off, his knife broke. 1982. James Irwin. Irwin was the eighth person to walk on the moon. The astronaut had a religious epiphany in space. In the 1980s, he led seven expeditions to search for Noah's Ark. Irwin established a foundation to support the search. He took his wife and son on one occasion. Despite several trips, Irwin never found anything, but he never gave up until his doctors told him he was too old. I think I've done all I can to attract attention to the Ark. He said, I think it is time others take up the search. 1986, Ed Davis, Ararat explorer Don Shockley, organized an Arkathon in 1986. One of the speakers was Ed Davis. Davis claimed to have seen the Ark during World War II. He said it was visible from his unit's base in Turkey. He also reported seeing the Garden of Eden. Davis passed a polygraph test. It was administered by James Irwin's Foundation. 2004, Noah's Ark Ministries International, NAMI. NAMI was set up to explore Mount Ararat. It was founded by evangelists, Henry Yuan Manfai and Boaz Li Chi Kuang. They reported finding a large wooden structure. Yuan and Li had no evidence of their claim beyond blurred images. They explained that a mysterious force disrupted their video footage. In 2005, Media Evangelism released a documentary, The Days of Noah. It depicts the NAMI expedition. 2021, Andrew Jones. Noah's Ark Scans Project used 3D scans to look for it. Jones, the project's lead researcher, said they found the Ark. This scan revealed parallel lines and right angles below the surface. It's something you wouldn't expect to see in a natural geologic formation, but these results are what you would expect to see if this is a man-made boat matching the biblical requirements of Noah's Ark. Geologists, meanwhile, believed it to be a rock.